welcome to my channel. I figured I'd show my face. At the beginning of this one, I've got my cute heart earrings on because Valentine's Day is coming up. I live in a basement apartment and it's a little cold, so I'm also in my very cozy sweater. So, wanted to say hi and give an explanation for this video. I've had two common questions. One is people don't know what to draw, so if I could draw just some basic objects uh, to give them inspiration. And another one I get a lot is to talk about layers. And I have a video, I think it's part three or four of the Procreate Basics series that I did when I started this that talks about layers, but I'm going to implement it throughout this video. So stay tuned, watch for some basic objects here on Procreate and some extra emphasis on the layers that I use and how you can use them. In this first drawing, we're gonna draw this carabiner from my husband's chalk bag. I'm gonna start with the 6B pencil that I love and I'm gonna do a sketch layer, didn't like that, so we are going to redo that. This first sketch is just a rough shape because we're gonna go over it and make it a little bit cleaner. So I slow it down so you can see that I change the opacity, add a new layer on top, and then I go over it a little bit cleaner. I'm still using the 6B pencil because I wasn't in love with this first sketch. I also needed some other element to add some other elements. So again with the 6B pencil, that is where we're at. And then I'm gonna come and because I want this to be um, outlined art, I'm gonna use the calligraphy monoline pencil. Um, and I have the streamline turned all the way up so it will make a little bit cleaner lines. It's a good cheat code for Procreate if you struggle with the steady hand. So I'm just gonna go over the tops of all of this and trace over it. This is how um, a layer is beneficial because I can have a tracing layer. So like in real life, it would be like a pencil layer and a pen layer, but in, uh, and you would have to erase it after, but with Procreate, you can just unselect the tracing layer basically. So another way I use layers is for my coloring. So it's really nice to have your color layer beneath your outline layer, because then you don't have to be as clear. I also have it so my outline layer is a reference layer. So that makes it easy for me to just drop color right on in, but it's still in a separate layer. This also helps because I wasn't gonna color drop all of those, so I just colored it. And I'll show that it's behind it, but I don't have to be as specific about where I color because it's in the layer underneath. I feel like this is really helpful. I could do the same thing with this, just don't have to be as careful with coloring. But, and with this one, I was like, I'll just color drop it, whatever and then I colored in that with green. And with having my color layer separate from my outline layer, I can quickly make a clipping mask and make it easy for um, me to make the uh, some shading. And I was gonna add some lines around it, but I just deleted it because I didn't end up keeping it anyways. So now we're gonna do a, um, a clipping mask over the top of our color layer, but I made it an overlay layer. So I changed the blend mode to overlay, and that will make it so when I do a grayscale, it will, basically it will blend better with um, the colors. So you can't really tell as much on the green just because it's already really un an unsaturated color. So everything, and I was having some real struggles. I definitely could have sped this up, sorry for that. So I add some highlights um, and it just looks like gray, but when I add the, it to the pink and the yellow, you can tell it's the same shade, just a lighter color, basically. So it's easy, it makes it easier to add highlights. And I just, I like, I've been practicing with the overlay mode, which is why I used it. And then I did a darker color, which then in that same layer, I'm able to do my highlights and my shadows. So I go ahead and add that on up, finish that off. And then I show that you can select multiple layers at once by select or swiping to the left and then using the cursor. So if you're worried about not being able to move your work, know it's still a possibility. Now we're gonna jump into this very, very fancy headphone from Apple. So I'm gonna do the right side and I'm just gonna do the, the top part of the headphone. I'm not gonna do the whole thing. So again, I'm gonna start out with my 6B pencil and do some sketching. 
Um, I didn't like that my streamline was turned all the way up, so I turned that back down to normal just so it'd be a little bit more like a sketching brush. Still have it up a little bit, but. So we're going to sketch it out. I'm gonna start with that big body, a little bit of a circle where the sound comes out, and then some of the details. And again, this is just your sketching layer, so things don't have to be perfect. Um, mine definitely looks more like a hair dryer. <laughs> I guess it is kind of like a hair dryer anyways, but uh, in terms of shape. So then I lower my opacity, add a new layer on top. And this time I focus more on changing the shape because I didn't really love the shape that I ended up with. So I kind of messed around with that. I still don't love, love, love the shape. Definitely could have done a lot better, but because I was being recorded, I was focusing on that. And then I realized that these were straight, so I made that adjustment. So that was my second sketch layer. Didn't worry as much about that. Now we're going to um, outline it with the monoline brush over the top in a new layer with our second sketch layer um, with the opacity turned down. And then I just completely unselected the first sketch layer just because that could get kind of confusing. So I use the quick shape option and this takes me a while to trace around it because I botched it like three times. <laughs> and then I realized that this was a little bit more of a pill shape. So I had to figure that out. Wasn't super focused on being perfect because it's just for the video so you can see the examples. And so that's really the, the base of our outline. And then we're gonna do some color dropping. So we will unselect our back layer just because it was white, but that was because the background was white and the outline layer is empty. So we're gonna make our outline layer, our reference layer, drop in our colors, made that little thing at the bottom gray, and then I added a green background. Now I'm going to show that we're going to do some shading. So I put my um, a new layer on top of my color layer and made it a clipping mask. And I didn't do the overlay option this time just because it's black and white. So I'm just adding a little bit of shading to all, to all of this. And I'm just going to speed it on up because I basically just add some shadows where I saw them on the headphone itself when I was staring at it um, and my color my lighting gets a little weird here but um, I basically just show you that these layers are all separate which makes life just so much easier and I can put them in the right order and it's just so nice this is our last object the very famous Burt's Bees ginger lime chapstick one of my faves so I I'm gonna start the same way 6b pencil create a sketch layer, a little rough draft. This um, particular sketch drawing, I only do one sketch drawing and then I just outline it over, right over the top because I didn't feel like I needed a second outline. Also, I didn't want to do all the letters again because I knew I was going to have to do them. <laughs> I didn't want to have to do them three times. I just did them twice. And I recognize that the letters are not top notch, but it's because I was being filmed. So I just wanted to uh, get through it basically. <laughs> um, and I didn't want this video to be three hours long. So now I'm going to go ahead and outline. I brought my color palette out prematurely, basically. So lower the opacity of my sketch layer, grab the black and grab the monoline brush. And then I'm gonna go ahead and outline this whole thing. Um, basically just the outside of the chapstick and then I'm gonna do the text in a different color um, I'm not gonna worry about outlining that and then doing it in a different color I'm just going to do that initially in another color so now we have got the birds bees um, and I was like oh I'll do it black and then I was like just kidding we're just gonna jump right into this because it's gonna take me forever and I could have just sketched it um, and I am going to speed it up for you guys so you don't have to painfully watch me do <laughs> this for, I think it took me a solid five minutes. So speed this all the way up. I recognize it's not perfect. I should have done a better job blocking it out because there are definitely a lot of different sizes going on here. But hopefully this just helps you see the process of it all. And 
you could basically learn from my mistakes. <laughs> See where I made some letters way taller than others. Uh, and, and one thing I will point out that I forgot to is I put this text layer on a different layer than my outline layer for the chapstick. So I could specifically make it smaller and raise it up because I realized that wasn't where I wanted it. So I traced it there and then I put it on top. Now we're going to do the two lines because Burt's Bees, it's like framed by a little box basically. Um, and then I figured I'd add the little trademark symbol. No, this video is not sponsored by <laughs> Bird's Bees, I wish. I would love to get free chapstick from them. So uh, now we are going to do the ginger lime portion. So I'm just going to grab the green I have here. It's definitely more of a lime green on the actual chapstick, but it's too lazy to make a new color. So I'm going to make a box and then I'm going to fill that box, make it perfection and then in a new layer because originally I, this is me writing ginger lime right on top and you can see I do it very lopsided it all ended up on one side but I wasn't able to move it because it was all in the same layer so I had to undo it but I was smarter the second time because this queen put it on a new layer so new layer so this time I didn't worry about uh, the spacing because I knew I could just move it afterwards so wrote out ginger lime in white and then I just moved it on over. And in real life, it's also in the same text as the Burt's Bees. Don't hate on me. It, I just felt like doing it in cursive because it was way faster. So um, you can see our outline layers right there. Now I'm going to turn our outline layer into a reference layer and just drop the color in. Make my life way easier. I wanted this one to be a little bit darker at the bottom. And I still have to color that in because I'm not color dropping all those squares. That's dumb. Now I'm gonna do the lid. I made the top part of the cap a little bit darker just to show that it's a little bit shaded. I didn't add any shading to this one. Didn't, I kind of just forgot. At the end I was like so pooped out from doing those letters and I was so disappointed <laughs> in how they turned out that I was just over it. So you can see that all these layers are different. I hope that this helps you see that using separate layers makes your life just a million times easier. It's hard to get into the habit of it, but once you do, you'll thank yourself a million times over because it makes life so much easier. Thank you for watching and I hope that this video helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Take questions in the comments. I love to respond back to them. So if you have any, let me know. I'd love if you subscribed, liked, and definitely commented for what you want to see next because I'm running out of ideas.